Hey, 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 yo, what is going on, everybody? Your friendly neighborhood saying once again is back. Ready to review and react. And for this one, at long last, we are at the end. We've reached the light at the end of the tunnel. We are finally at the final story of the Infinity Saga. Marvel, the end, or otherwise known as Thanos the end basically in modern day a mysterious being arrives out of nowhere that goes by the name of pharaoh akhenaten and this pharaoh if you will has insane immeasurable cosmic power like it's in it's insane like he kills most of the fucking pantheon of gods in like one shot and zeus and thor are the only ones that are able to survive at all incredible remarkable power that we have not seen before and basically the premise is that once again we all have to come together well not everyone the defenders come together because when Akhenaten first arrives he fucking blows almost everyone out of the water like he fucking he obliterates the x-men he destroys the avengers like in one go to like he doesn't even break a sweat while doing it so, at the end of it, there's only a few key players left. Doctor Doom, you have the Defenders, and you also have Captain Marvel alive as well at the end of it. And once again, Lord and behold, we are once again forced <laughs> to team up with the key player in all of this. And that key player would happen to be Thanos of Titan. And from there is where we pretty much go to in the comic where everything like starts to pop off. Now, this comic is by far my favorite comic since Infinity War with uh, the mages. Since that comic, this is my favorite comic that we have gotten since then. And I'm going to tell you why right now. We're going to start off really fast. We're going to speed blitz it with the fucking pros first. First off, the thing I loved about it, that I absolutely fucking adored about it, is the idea that ever since the end of Infinity Gauntlet, Thanos has slowly, I don't know if you guys know this, but he's been slowly but surely becoming more and more of the one thing that he despises his, himself to think of himself as, which is a hero. While it is always true that Thanos has kind of always been out for himself, no, not kind of, he has always been out for himself and his whole goals in the end, but even so, when you think about it, even in Infinity Gauntlet, when he takes possession of the, the gauntlet itself, even then, all the way from then to now, he has helped save the universe on multiple occasions, you know. Like when, for example, when Gamora took the gauntlet during that story, Thanos ended up teaming with the opposite team just to help them ha even have a chance of getting the gauntlet. From that to Infinity War, where again, Thanos teams up with Adam Warlock and the others to help combat the mages. And from that to the Infinity Crusade, where he again does the same thing against the goddess. From that to Infinity Abyss, where he does once again save the day, but this time it's even more interesting in the fact that during that, he was doing it, but against himself, copies of himself that took his beliefs even further than what he would take them at that certain point of the stage of the saga. And then from that to it coming full circle, where Thanos tries his best to see if there's any chance of saving the universe. And even when he does end up accidentally dooming it, he performs the ultimate act of a hero and proceeds to sacrifice himself in order to bring the universe again anew as it once was before. Which it is a huge fucking character development, especially all the way from the Thanos quest where Thanos was just an absolute savage, just murdering people left and right for his own gain, all the way from that to now where he has all of this power which is another thing we'll get to in a second he has all of this power and the ability to move the heavens apart however so he wished and even then despite all that having all that power not being able to do anything and when he does end up dooming the universe in the end to go as far as to sacrifice himself to bring everyone back in the universe to renew the universe to how it once was is an amazing character development might i say probably the best character development that i have seen of thanos in a long fucking time and it was worth it 
I feel like now that I'm looking back at it, throughout the entirety of the Infinity Saga, the main character out of all this is Thanos in actuality. It's him, despite like Adam Warlock being the main protagonist for the duration of these stories and, you know, taking out the mages and yada yada. And even from like the defenders helping out Adam Warlock to do some of these things, in reality, Thanos is the primary main character of it. Now, yeah, granted, he might not have as much of an important established role in helping the conflict at hand, but him and his quest from seeing how what he once was throughout the entirety of the saga, like going through it and seeing how much he develops and like how different he changes the and the amount of character development he has, he is the main character of these stories without a shadow of a doubt now that I think about it. And I absolutely love that, how they went, you know, from taking it to him being this insane tyrant to eventually having to face sins of his own past, copies of himself that have taken his beliefs to an extreme. From that to doing what he does in this story is amazing. And it is, I will dare say, it is one of the best examples of character development that I have seen in a long time. Despite how I feel about some of the stories, like how I feel about Infinity Crusade or um, the Thanos Abyss, despite the fact that I didn't hate the Thanos Abyss as much, but no matter how I feel about these stories, I love that they did that with Thanos, and I love how much they made him change up, and like, despite him not being the established quote-unquote protagonist, you do see his development front and center, and I love that, I absolutely love that. That is by far, without a shadow of the doubt, the highlight of this entire saga is how far he comes along from what he once was. And another thing I liked about the story, and especially the saga as well too, is how it tackles the concept of power, and if having infinite power really is worth everything at all, so to speak. Like especially after the halfway mark where we see Thanos finally obtain the heart of the universe and he becomes, he basically becomes omnip omnipotent, like he is the strongest thing in the universe at a moment nobody can even make him break a sweat not the living tribunal not the entire race of celestials not eternity infinity nobody can make him break a sweat with how much power he has which was once his goal was to have infinite power but once he does he begins to see into the very fab out let's say the dna of the very universe and only to find out ultimately that the universe is doomed to end no matter what he does or whatever he can do. Like the man, once he obtains the heart of the universe, he's nigh omnipotent. He can travel to the past. He can change reality however he sees fit. Nobody can even do anything to him. But despite all that, only to find out that ultimately like the universe is destined to be destroyed and like doomed to end at a certain point, that it was all for naught. It was like it really brings a question like is having that much power really worth anything and it kind of makes you question like Thanos's entire motivation and his determination and his quest for power it makes you question all of that and even in the end once he obtains the heart and he becomes the strongest thing in all of existence he is still despite all of his power absolutely powerless to change the end of the universe that is coming and it makes you question a lot like the concepts of like power and if having that much power is really worth it all in the end and it's a very nice running theme that i've been noticing went through like all these other stories the story the premises of all these stories are power power is always the central thing at the story whether it was the magus or the goddess or these Thanos clones, that is the primary principle of all these stories is power. And then only for us to finally get to the end and for Thanos to be completely unstoppable and even then still be absolutely powerless to change anything, it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder and, it, and it's a really good way of tackling again that issue of is having all the power really, you know, Now, despite how amazing I am blowing up this story to be, and it is fucking amazing, believe me, there are some slight issues I have with the story. For one, I didn't care about Pharaoh Akhenaten at all. 
especially with the whole celestial order shit and all their fucking stupidity their candidate selection is beyond fucking dumb because like apparently the goal of the order has always been to like you know press peace onto the universe wherever they see fit but somehow they deemed that this self-absorbed ruthless fucking egyptian ruler is somehow deemed worthy enough to wield all that power it's it's really stupid it's dumb <laughs> it's super stupid and the second thing that i do have a slight issue with is the heart of the universe itself because like the idea that something as powerful as this item as powerful as this weapon is lying out there somewhere and you're telling me that none of the celestial entities knew anything or even decided to care about a power like that despite how dangerous it is that's a little much for me that's a little much but again it's not anything that ruins the story crazy like that for me but overall i would go on to give this a full price i, I would very much like to give this a full price like that yes like the issues despite the issues i have with the story are very minimal but the pros triumph all of those cons so easily once again with like thanos's character development coming full circle and then tackling the concept of like is you know is the quest of power really all worth it in the end of infinite power at that it was a very great read for me and i feel like honestly this is the perfect way how the infinity saga could have ended in my opinion like it started with thanos and it ends with thanos like it comes completely full fucking circle but as always if y'all like what i had to say don't forget to like your likes comment comment sub your sub share shares I will see y'all on the next video, and as always, peace and chicken grease.